What's up guys? Good morning from the beautiful dive resort of Captain Greg's. Today's a nice day. I'll show you. The weather, the weather is much better than yesterday morning. Still a little hazy out there, but you can see the sun peeking through. I don't know, it's about 8 o'clock roughly. 8, 8.30, something like that. And it's going to be a beautiful day. we got three dives planned for today. I don't know where. I guess I'll find out. Um, I wanted to ask you. You guys let me know what you prefer. Do you guys prefer me talking about what I'm seeing, my first impressions, you know, the voiceover? Or would you guys rather hear the... Or would you rather have me put music to the video? Uh, you guys let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but anyways, uh, we're, we're ready to go. We're excited. I think it's going to be another beautiful and a great day of diving. There's Lip doing her thing. This is not a uh, princess diving resort. It's not a princess resort. dive. Most of the time to do that for me, but this time I need to do by myself. Yeah. So I kind of like, uh, but kind of hard. Well, it's, I mean, what I mean by princess dives, they hook everything up for you, they set everything up for you, they put it on the boat for you, they do it all for you. Uh, there are resorts that are out there like that. Uh, but that's what's nice. Here, you're learning what you learned. Yeah, but I like the way it is also here, yeah. so you can learn more. Right. You'll, when you move, like, it comes to the point that you just by yourself, you're not just right. stupid enough to... Right. what you do so this one is fine for me that i did learn a lot plus you're doing it yourself so you're yeah. responsible for everything going right so if somebody else does it you're taking yeah. a chance now there's old look she's got her dime belt on anything else to say about huh? anything else well i said like today's gonna have today's gonna be fun day which today it's like a light uh we're going to be divided right because uh we have maybe like one two six of us yeah but uh the three of us will be together and the three will be the right. uh, other we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be staying more shallow yeah than the other guys like denny he's been doing it so he's gonna go deeper so there's six of us going out so this is gonna be fun first dive here we go
all right guys we have made it back from our first dive i should call this i should call this when i sit here and talk perch talk perch talk because i'm sitting up here on the perch looking out there uh so yeah what a, what a, what, a, what a good dive that was uh, i noticed when the sun started coming out peeking through the, the the colors just were exploding more uh, wow towards the end of towards the end there uh, the, the sun was just hitting everything just right um, from what the dive master was saying he, you know he, that area dive that coral reef there is in excellent shape um, it's very healthy they would know they dive this area so many times we dove up around monkey beach up in that area over that way around the corner there um, they would know I did see you guys seen in the video there was an eel and I I, I was trying to get down in there but man I couldn't because that was one of the things on my bucket list too let me find an eel uh, we're going with the current the current's not that strong but it does move you along you know it moves you along it's not whipping you along but it's moving you along um, we were depth wise 20.2 was our depth air wise 40 minutes 40 minutes and i still have 50 pounds of air left in the tank when we came up so i probably could have stayed down another 10 15 more minutes the key is one hour of course the deeper you go the more uh, air you're going to use they say the key is one hour. You want one hour. So hopefully I'll get that one hour by the time we leave here. Um, didn't see a turtle, guys. I did not see that turtle. However, you guys know when I see that turtle. You probably hear me scream underwater. Ah, there it is. <laughs> uh, I didn't know this either. The dive master told us, matter of fact, he told us yesterday, you know, Lutz afraid of those snakes. Uh, he said a lot of times those snakes, what they do is, and they're in the water during the day, but at night they, they leave the water and go up on the embankment and stuff, and I guess sleep. That's what he was telling us. Uh, what else? What else? This one, this one. This is for you, Critter, if you're going to watch us. He did say that he has seen blue ringed octopus here. Very, very hard to find. They're not here all the time, but the guy said he has seen them. Very elusive, very elusive. So you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. So anyways, we got another dive here. I think 11.30, suit up, go back in. Had problems with my, our goggles fogging up again. So the dive master's working on that for us. Um, we'll get it, we'll get it. Uh, from what I'm told, that can be a problem, a common problem. Uh, but you know, you're under the water, you just get a little bit of water in there, clear it out, and you're good to go. So anyways, let's get going to that second dive. All right, guys, so here we are. We're coming up on our dive site. Um, kind of a little bit down further from where we were diving yesterday and this morning. Um, really nice area. Just core all through there. There's my... My scuba diving partner, Lut the Mermaid. Check it out. Look close. Look close. Do you see it yet? Do you see it? Camouflage. Boom. There he goes. He moved. That was cool. Turned around and just looked up. A sea of fish, right? A sea of fish. Here I'm just kind of playing around, trying to show you the beauty of the, the colors, the white, that black and green thing sitting right there. Came. These guys are just cool. They just look like... I mean, you see that it looks like two arms just a flapping through the ocean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just neat. These are nudie branch. They're cool. I was checking them out. I mean, look at the colors. The yellow, the black. Here's another one. Purple and white and, and yellow. It's just fluorescent. Here's another one up kind of close. Trying to get in and trying to show you the, the colors of these things. Um, I'm doing my best. Uh, then this guy caught my eye, but the guy on the rock right there caught my eye again. Um, never seen a fish like that before. He's cool looking. 
Um, then he just, boom, swam away. <laughs> uh, these are crowns of thorns. That is the only one <clears throat> that we've seen. Uh, you don't want them in your coral reef. They'll destroy them. From what I'm told, they have gotten a lot out. Um, there I am. I see it. You see me shaking my head? You see me shaking my head? If I, if I smiled any bigger, I'd be sucking in water. But here it is. The moment I spot it, the big turtle. Look at him down there. He is just, he's massive. Massive. Uh, I'm going to descend down to him a little bit. Check him out a little closer. Uh, we, we figured he, from what we're told, he's, they're, they're pretty old. Uh, this turtle he hangs around in this area uh, he was probably a good three feet easily um, he just he just sleeping I guess or digesting his meal it was around lunchtime um, I don't know I guess if they're hungry they eat right they're not on our schedules like we are but beautiful then he moved his head a little bit gave him a big thumbs up I wish he would have turned around and looked at me. I didn't want to get too close to him. I didn't want to disturb him. Uh, but wow. All I can say is wow. I mean, I was... I was just so excited. I wanted to... Uh, get down there and pet him. Say, hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> Check him out. Uh, ride him. But no. Then it got even better. Because we came across her. Uh, evidently, this is a pair that lives in the area, uh, and like I said, just said earlier, they're they're old. From what I was, from what they were saying, that these turtles are old. But there she is. She's just munching away on some coral. Uh, imagine the power in those jaws, just to bite. Because that that coral is not soft. It's not like biting into a hamburger. I mean. It, it's like biting into a big hard bone, if not even harder, but they just chunk, they just bite away and chunk it off. And But yeah, she was neat. No fish on her. Um, I don't know, maybe she was 10, 15 feet away from him. Uh, but I just, I was amazed, amazed. Look at all the other little fish kind of just hanging out, swimming around. This is what I came here for. My my trip is complete. I am a happy, happy, happy person. All right, guys. So we did go out on a third dive. I did not bring my camera along. I seen what I wanted to see for the day, man. I seen them turtles. We were told that those turtles are roughly around 80 years old. I guess they've been here a long time. Well, 80 years is a long time. They were huge. I mean, that male turtle was was massive, massive. And the female, if I, if I know, if it's correct, the bigger one was the male. The smaller one, the second one was the female. Still, they were huge. They were huge. Um, but yeah, I. That was my day right there. That was my day. Um, I wish I would have brought my camera down there on the third dive. Uh, we just, we dove like straight out there, straight out there. Um, it was different reef. It was, some areas kind of reminded you of like thorns, like it was just a bunch of thorns. And when you looked down into the reef, I mean, there was just tons of fish down in there. Um, nothing really fancy that I haven't seen, but there were just tons of them. I did, however, get, check this out, a black frogfish. I don't know how rare they are, but we were swimming along and the dive instructor, this thing was kind of hanging out on this big thick rope and he pointed and I'm like, cool, I don't know what it is, but that's pretty cool. And then when we came up, he said, yeah, it was a black frogfish. Never seen one of them in my life. I don't know how rare they are. Um, what else? What else? Oh, some pretty cool big puffer fish. Uh, they were hanging out inside, you know, one of those uh, alien eggs. <laughs> you know, one of those vase-looking things. Uh, there was another cool-looking long fish, and he was bright yellow. He was probably about two feet long and thin. Uh, he was cool. 
Um, but yeah, once again, you don't bring your camera, you miss out. But anyways, my, trip's, my trip is complete. Uh, we'll be doing some more diving, of course. Uh, hopefully see some more turtles. Uh, some more cool things. Uh, but anyways, tomorrow we're taking the day off. I told look, you know, when we planned this trip, I would like to go check out White Beach, maybe Cocoa Beach. So tomorrow we're not going to dive. I'm going to kind of cruise around and check those places out and, and uh, maybe fly the drone. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful day. So anyways, guys, with that being said, once again, let me know what you think. The first dive I did with music, the second dive, as you guys seen, I, I talked about it. So anyways, guys, with that being said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other, the sick, the elderly, and the young. Your pets, take care of your pets, and we'll talk to you later.